Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your professor from Johnson County Community College. And in this short screencast, we'll talk about two different ways to clear float. Let's first just look at our short web page that we have here. Of course, I've got my head section. And then in the body, I've got an outer wrapper, a header section, a nav that has nothing in it, and the main section with an image and a paragraph, which is what you're seeing here. I also have a footer section with one paragraph that I've classed clear float. Let's look at the style sheet. So my outer wrapper is 90%, which gives me my little space on the left and the right. My content is centered within that with the margin rule, top and bottom margins of zero, left and right of auto. And then my main section, which contains both the image and this lorem ipsum placeholder text, has a background color of this light orange color. My image is styled with max width 100% to make it flexible as I resize the browser. And I've got one class here, clear float where I clear both the left and the right float and I center align my text and I've applied that to my footer content, which is why the footer is centered down here below the main section. But let's set up the problem. Here's what happens when you float that image left and do not have enough text to reach to the bottom of that image. So now our orange background does not reach the entire height of that image as I want it to. Plus my text is scooted up to the edge of this image. So let's fix both of these problems. The first thing we're gonna do is just say margin right on this image of 1%. Save, refresh, and that's just gonna scooch our text away from that image. The second thing we want to do is to make that background reach the entire height of the image. And there's a couple different ways to do that. I'm gonna show you the less elegant way first. The less elegant way would be to put a small paragraph at the bottom of this main section and to also class that with clear float. So that's gonna make sure that this paragraph starts on its own block just as it normally would because we're not going to float this small paragraph up to the right of the image. And when I refresh that, you see where that small paragraph is showing up. It started on its own block, and because the clear float class both clears the float and has text align center, you see it in the center here. So what you might do then is just take out the text. So now we have an empty paragraph that is clearing the float, which has nothing in it, which gives us our desired effect of the orange background on the right of the image. You might even get a little more tricky and just put in a BR tag here, and that would do the exact same thing only with one BR tag instead of the paired paragraph tags. However, a slightly more elegant way of solving this problem is not to add unnecessary HTML that you really don't want in your page, but rather to handle it through CSS. And you can handle this through CSS, I'll refresh this page, using the overflow property. And the overflow property on this main container, the overflow property was really intended to allow a container to show scroll bars should text within that container expand to more than the allowed height that you wanted to give that container. But if you say overflow auto, the impact on that main is that it automatically resizes the container to be the height of whatever content, including images, is in that container, and our orange background now is as tall as the image, which is our desired effect. So those are two different ways to clear the float and to make your background colors shape up the way you want them to. Thank you for listening.